Okay, so as you guys know, we've been working hand in hand with the good friend Chewy out of Texas. And uh, so we, we sent my dad's heads off to get ported and we had them milled down. Um, so our compression is going to be raised up on the 5.3, but my dad's going to give you a little rundown. I want you to look at the reflection on this. Mm -hmm. We milled it 10 thousandths and he did such a good job that I can now shave on my heads here. <laughs> and they, they are so clean and he poured it and polished them. Chewy does five angle valve jobs um, so these heads have um, new valve guides, we got new valves, um, intake and exhaust. That's the inside of the head there. It's gonna be so pretty. It is gonna be so pretty. I can't hardly wait. So you have a color scheme in mind? What, what are you thinking? Uh, well I was thinking of going black but you know what the black is kind of flat. I'm thinking we've, if we go red and then we go blue with the uh, with the, the a two-tone blue and red and make it kind of match the side of the truck and then uh, let's see what happens I think we can do pretty good. So, Chewy did a great awesome job he hooked us up really really nice um, as you guys know he did the porting for the GTO for the BMW um, for my throttle bodies um, he does do heads if you want his contact information it's gonna be in the description of this video as always along with his Instagram and anything any other information I have for Chewy it will be in the description but once again thanks again to Chewy for everything he's doing for us let's talk about my track day yesterday um, I had a I had a hard time and I don't know you guys could probably tell in the video I had a hard time doing it um, one I wasn't I was not launching with proper RPM that's number one the car would bog down and you know I would have to make up for it by shifting into second gear or whatever it just you know it, that first 60 foot is so important to your quarter mile time that since it bogged down so bad, you know, I couldn't really make up for it unless I had a ton more power, which I don't. So now my other issue, my other issue was I was running really high IATs. Um, so what IATs is, is intake air temperatures. Um, usually when you run a higher intake air temp, the car will end up pooling timing. Now I was icing down the lid. I had brought a couple ice packs with me. I iced down the lid for a good 25 30 minutes before I made my pass um, but the lowest IAT I was reading was on the video you guys seen it, it was like 105 was the best I could get um, I definitely got to figure out some sort of ice tank or something to get the IATs really low so when I actually go up to the the line if I could leave it like 70 degrees the car will have a lot more power down low now here's the plan Number one, I got to get a bunch more practice driving in. So I got to practice launching it, practice doing burnouts, that kind of stuff um, to figure out what the tires like, um, what PSI the car likes. Number two would be getting the ice tank. The ice tank is going to tremendously drop my IATs. Um, I also learned um, from a couple of the, you know, some of the pro street guys, they are running an ice tank with water in it. I didn't know this, and I'm running coolant. So the water actually dissipates heat a bit better than coolant does. Now the track is not gonna be open for a couple weeks. They have a ton of events the next couple weeks, so that gives me a good amount of time to get the car refreshed, retuned, and ready to go again. And then, of course, lose some weight on the car. If I can get the car down to close to, you know, 3,600 pounds with that weight, it should be no problem going the speed I want to go. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. And it smells good in here. Street driving so much different compared to drag racing. Drag racing, there's a lot of little things you gotta listen for and, and doing the launch or whatever. Definitely learning that those tires don't like low RPM launches, like the car almost died on me. It bogged down super vicious. So I got new meats for Helga here um, for my other wheels. I'm gonna go put tires on the, on the other wheels tomorrow, uh, just so I don't have to worry. Currently right now, we're on bald tires, but you know, I don't really care. We're not going too far from home. May play a little bit, and then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll mount the other ones up tomorrow, so that should be real good. All right, so I'm here waiting for Eric.
finally decided to show up. <laughs> Back on the vlog. Yes. So you guys haven't seen Eric in a couple weeks because I don't know. Eric's been working a lot and doing doing grown up stuff. He's he's getting his house built. And he's he's being a baller. And I'm over here playing with toys. <laughs> we did the two three eight upper. You did two three. I thought you did two four. Oh. <laughs> no, um, uh, Trey's right. I did the two four zero. Um, Either way, it's not much of a difference. No, but. There, it's like half a power to boost, I think, or something like that. It depends on what lower you have. So, but it looks good. It's different. Um, working on the tune a lot. That's about it. Everybody, comment on this video and tell Eric he needs radials before anything else. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yeah, probably." <laughs> radials, radials will change your life. You, you'll realize how fast the car is. No traction is scary, but radials is like, oh. You can tell a difference with the, the smaller pulley. It throws a lot more boost at it. Yeah. So let me tell you what I've been doing over the last few days. Um, as you could tell, we're in the garage. GTO's getting some fender work done. Um, I had pretty bad bacon fender here, so I decided to fix it. So what I did was I tack welded a bunch of the fender. I rolled it out a little bit more. Um, pretty much what was happening is with the drag radials, when it would squat under launch, I would catch the drag radial and I was super unsure whether or not to use the fender flares or not um, so I decided to take my shot at doing some body work so this is my result I don't know if you guys could tell but not bad um, first time ever doing any kind of body work and I figured this was a good time if I screwed up I could always put on the fender flares and we'll go from there but I think I did a decent job for the first time um, obviously, I've probably made a ton of mistakes, but I'm not too worried about it. Car's gonna get looking a lot better than it did. I'm, I also decided to handle a few dings in the hood. I use a fiberglass filler. I filled it up. Now I'm in the sanding process, so we're sanding it back down smooth, and then hopefully we'll get this painted back. Now this week is the 4th of July, and there's no racing, so I figured this is the perfect time to work on the GTO, get it nice and clean, this is different than what I've done before, so I'm excited. This is working out a lot better than I expected. Once the body's done, we're gonna put a nice layer of paint on it. On at just, I'm just gonna match the paint as best I can to the original paint, and then um, the car's gonna get wrapped. So if I am making a mistake, it's okay because there is a ton of blemishes in my paint, and the car is just gonna get wrapped right after it gets sealed up again. So. I'm not too worried about the paint. Eventually, in the future, when I can afford a really, really good paint job, the car will get a paint job. But for now, it's just going to get a, a bit more clean. And uh, we're going to go from there. But I'm super excited. So we're getting there. We're getting there. But uh, I'm actually going to take a little break from doing some body work. And I'm going to go ride my bicycle. Um, tomorrow, I'm doing shows at the track, which is kind of cool. But... Um, doing shows at the track for the 4th of July. So I'm gonna get some practice in on my bike and you guys are gonna come with me. Oh, other news, I got tires for, I got some meats for the BMW. We put these wheels back on, we got some meats for them. Some cheapy eBay meats, but they're good. I've been daily in this Beamer every single day since I got the Haggerty insurance. And uh, it's been pretty awesome. I got the sub in the back. We got new tires. We got the cow hood. Everything is working out real good in this car. Obviously, um, it's taking a back seat on the channel because I've just been focusing on the GTO. But in the very comfortable car aspect, the Beamer's working out pretty well. So I'm pretty psyched on that. Uh, next week, is my ninth anniversary wedding anniversary with my lady my awesome wifey so we are gonna be out in California and uh, we got some stuff planned for California it's gonna be sick I can't wait to show you guys. 